Hello scientists, I will show you how to process your Confoco image in Photoshop. This is an image I got from an OpenSS article and it has red, green, and blue. Usually these are actin, tubulin, and nucleus. And I will show you how to overlay them. Just simply go to this drop down menu and click on lighten. Then you get to uh, have this uh, overlay image. It is so easy, isn't it? And you'll see the overlaying part has become yellow. And let's do it to the nucleus as well. The scientists who asked this topic only wrote how to process confocal image on Photoshop. So uh, I wasn't very really sure what kind of processing she was uh, referring to. I also demonstrated other tricks during the Twitch live stream. For example, how to adjust the brightness. Uh, you can see it in the recordings. It is in my membership page and in Patreon. And uh, also <laughs> I discussed with the uh, viewers. I know some papers were retracted because of image manipulation. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what's the boundary of processing your microscopic images in Photoshop. And the figure guidelines in the journals, they don't uh, recommend Photoshop for this reason because there are a lot of image manipulation tricks you can do with this software. I thought you guys already have software applications like ImageJ to process this while you take these photos live. Let me know in the comments why do you need Photoshop for your research. Uh, yeah, let me know and uh, maybe we can discuss how to use it properly so you don't cross the red line. Give a like and a subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you in the next video.